Hey, howdy, hey everyone, and welcome back to part 21 of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Let's Play. See, after a long part 20 there, going around the map, doing all the water routes we could, doing every little bit of extra content available to us at the moment, we are back here at Canalave Library, finally progressing the story yet again. And hey, Barry. I mean, <laughs> hey, it's Barry. <laughs> hey, Cody, over here, this way. And he's going to take us on over to Professor Rowan and Dawn. Okay, Gramps, I brought Cody like I said, and now I'm out of here. Okay, I get it. Hmm, everyone's finally here. Listen up. You may have forgotten already, but I study the evolution of Pokemon. The more I study, the more mysterious appear, the more mysteries appear and multiply. There's some Pokemon that evolve and others that don't. It makes them different from each other. Do immature ones evolve into ones that are more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that the legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh are complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. There are said to be mysterious Pokemon in each of the three lakes of Sinnoh. We can obtain data on them and may shed some light on the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these mysterious Pokemon. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. And who was it that bolted from my lab before I had the chance to give one? But that's the water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you, becoming a better trainer as well. You can count on me. It will help with my Pokedex too. Cody, you'll go too, won't you? Hmm. I would have made all of you go regardless. Now then, there are three lakes. Fortuitously, there are three of you. You should split up and investigate the lakes individually. Dawn, you go to Lake Verity? Will do. Barry, I want you to investigate Lake Acuity. That would take you almost to Snow Point City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Uh, yeah, of course. Gramps, you know how to call it. You can tell I'm the hotness. <laughs> that leaves Cody with Lake Valor. The lake is between Bellstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Has it stopped? Are all of you unharmed? Let's go outside and be careful. I'm concerned about the city. That guy over there in the ball cap, I don't think he had a reaction to what happened, but, uh... Cody, hurry along, but beware of aftershocks. <laughs> yeah, let's head on out of the library, regroup with Rowan and the gang, before we head on to our quest to make sure Lake Valor is okay. Whoa. That tremor. That was not a natural occurrence. Hey, hey! All dude and kids, something big just happened. They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. Like that. Oh, what did he say, Kaboom? My bad. Gramps, I'm going to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. Is that a Star Wars reference? <laughs> mm, that berry can't sit still. Cody, I'm worried about Lake Valor. However, I have no idea what is taking place. You must find out. But before you go, I can't stress this enough. Don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. You'll be okay, won't you, Cody? And yeah, so we're going to head on over to Pastoria City first. Because, uh, just like last time, I totally forgot. There's a Pokemon we need to encounter um, that I don't know where the trainer is for it. I've searched online for it. And in my Diamond and Pearl, let's, I mean, not Let's Play, my Diamond uh, playthrough. Or was it my Pearl? I think it was my Pearl playthrough. I cannot find a trainer that had Wooper. To save the life of me. I went to the cafe at the hotel and battled everyone there. I went to the Jubilife uh, city room and I couldn't find anything there. So we're just going to go here and uh, I think we can find him in the mud around here. If my memory is correct. I could be wrong on that. But I'm going to try and find him. Wait, can we not find Pokemon here? I swear you can find Pokemon in the marsh. Or am I just like losing my mind? Um, I hope I'm not, because I'm not taking it. I don't have a repel on either, so they, it shouldn't be, like, unable to find Pokemon for me to run into. Uh... Come on, Looper! Oh, we're stuck in the mud. Is he not in the mud? Is he? <laughs> Is there no Pokemon in the mud? Come on, now. It should be, right? Am I wrong? Well, I'm going to be right back when I find Wooper, and I'll show you guys how to get it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back, and embarrassingly enough, it is not in the, the mud. There's no Pokemon in the mud. 
I don't know where I got that from, but you can find Wooper like right here in the first patch of grass uh, on the route. It doesn't have to be in the mud. I don't know where I, I don't know why I thought it was in the mud, man. I don't even think Platinum had Pokemon in the mud. I, I have no idea where I got that crazy little playground rumor from being a 20 some year old Pokemon player, but it's in the grass here right outside Pastoria. And of course we're not finding it first try. Excuse me, like everyone else is, but uh, you know, it's it's worth it, I swear, because it's, it's for some reason the only Pokemon that I cannot find a trainer that has it, but like everywhere online says there's a trainer that has it. I don't know, but apparently a lot of people miss Wooper. I didn't miss it in my Diamond um, playthrough, but here he is. Uh, I'm not gonna catch him. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack it, and we're gonna run away um, and get back on the trail to actually uh, progressing the main story again. So. Yeah, I guess I'll see you guys, uh, oh, no, <laughs> we knocked out one hit, I wasn't expecting that, so yeah. But continue from here, and now we have Wooper in the Pokedex, we don't have to worry about not seeing it again. I have no idea where the trainer is, it's supposed to be in the Battle Cafe, and in Jubilife City, uh, by a cameraman double battle, but I, I didn't find it in there. So, let's continue on, let's get on our bike here, and rush on over to the lake, um, probably would've been faster just to go, uh, the proper way around, but it's fine. Either way, we get to the destination, right? It just may cost us a little run time on this episode. So, continue on. Hopefully, we don't run any Pokemon. <sighs> I did not think I was going to make it out of that grass. So, after I cut um, three Pokemon in a row, I guess because I'm on my bike or something. Oh, we get that item. Three Pokemon in a row jumped out at me. It was a Floatzel, a Weasel, and then a Shellos again. So, yeah, that was not fun. I got a little frustrated. I was like, dude, what is going on? I cannot believe my luck. It was it was terrible. But I, I'm, I'm guessing because it was on the bike, right? It was probably like higher encounter rate. I don't know. But I've never had that happen before. And um, we can actually... I think we're going to do this real quick. Um, there shouldn't be too many trainers on this water route. Uh, before we head back on with the story... I know I keep taking derails here, but... Um, we do need to get this out of the way um, before we get too far into things. Um, I guess we'll just do this. Like how we've been doing. And there's some water trainers here. And I missed an item right there already. Jeez. Let's go ahead and face these girls off. I mean, face off against this girl over here. <laughs> and uh, just plays the room. I don't think any of them have actual Pokemon you need for the Pokedex. So you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can head to Lake Valor. Uh, skip ahead in the video to wherever you reach Lake Valor. I don't mind. I understand. Um, but yeah. We're just going to breeze through these guys, hopefully. And uh, get back on the beaten path, right? Uh, is that the word? I don't think that's the phrase. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna get back onto it. Um, actually, might just cut this battle out now that I'm thinking about it. So, yeah, I'll see you guys after this battle. Alright, so that was a pretty decent quick fight. Uh, Gabai actually leveled up to level 30, but that trainer did have an Azumarill, so... Just in case you guys need that uh, for the Pokedex, I'm not sure if we've seen one or not yet, so now I'm kind of... Hesitant to cut battles again because I'm like, oh, I didn't expect her to have a Pokemon we actually needed. But I don't think we've seen a... I don't believe we've seen... Um, we've seen a Zoomerill yet. So there's that. I don't know if there's another trainer with it later on or not. But yeah. Again, if you guys need a Zoomerill, uh, it's there. Uh, if you want to go ahead and get out the waiter, it's up to you, really. I'm going to switch to Karya for Empoleon, though, just so I can hit with Ice Beam. It's not going to be crazy one-shotting it, but it's just better than just spamming... Or a sphere four or five turns, right? And I, like I said, I'm scared to cut out videos. I mean, battle is now out of the video because I'm not too sure what trainer has what now. Um, I thought for sure now these trainers had important Pokemon, but hey, here we are, right? <laughs> Go ahead and hit him with Ice Beam. And he's out of here. That did a lot better than I. Oh, it was a crit. Okay, cool. Don't know if it mattered, but we got it, right? Yeah, decent XP, I guess. But chop, uh, we don't need it. So yeah, I guess. Do I cut it now? I don't know. I guess we can cut it. Cause like he, that's his last Pokemon, right? So I don't know. I I, I don't know. I don't know where to cut it anymore. Cause I'm like, ah. Uh. Cause I know sometimes if the clip is too short, it's just a really pain to add. At least that was when I first started. I might have figured out what the problem was uh, since then. But yeah. Um, I will see what happens next battle. What they have, I might cut it. Sailor Paul, though. Paul. Not Paul. Paul? What did I say? I said it wrong. I said it wrong. That's all I know. Um, let's squiggle on through here, though. Because if we squeeze through here, go back on this water platform, and come up here, 
Face off against this water train. Come up here and face off against this water. Oh, it's a, we can make it a double battle. I think I'd rather do that. Um, go ahead and turn your butt. Turn your butt. Go ahead. Turn. Turn. No. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a double battle. Because up here is actually a water stone. Uh, one of the few in the game that you can pick up in the overworld. So if you need it for a Pokemon later on or now, here it is. So, yeah. yeah, so it's a double battle though. Swimmer Mary and Swimmer Evan. Meryl and Golduck. Um, again, I don't think we've seen Golduck to this point, but I do think trainers have it later on. So Don't worry about it if you don't want to do this battle. Um, but I guess if you want the water stone, you got to do the battle, right? So there's that as well. Go ahead and just hit him with a... Uh, we'll hit him with Aura Sphere and then switch Gabite out for Empoleon. It won't be doing much damage with any moves, but, you know, it's something, right? We'll see how much damage we're doing. If we're not doing too much, then I'm just going to cut and uh, pick up after we defeat them. I think that's fair. If it's going to be a slog of a, you know, match, I don't want to continue to make you guys sit here and watch them. Especially if they're not important to the, uh, the plot or anything. It's just me doing side trainers for XP and Pokédex completion. And like I said, I'm pretty sure you can get, a. Uh, Gold duck elsewhere in the game, so not sure you actually have to worry about it here. Um, let's go ahead and just do this and this, and uh, uh, we just peck. And I will see you guys after the battle. So yeah, and we are back. So it's just another gold duck and a Pelipper to really worry about. So nothing really noteworthy to bring up to you guys. I uh, didn't miss out much. Uh, I think the only thing really of interest there was the gold duck actually. So you know, again, didn't miss out there. Uh, if you don't really feel like doing it now, again, I'm pretty sure there's gold X. Bye, other trainers in the, the map. Okay, bye. Can you get out of my way so I can serve, bud? There we go. Not sure there's anything down here, but just to be sure, just to be thorough. Through our investigation. Let's see, is there anything on this rock? No, there's actually nothing down here. Just a waste of our time, right? So, go back up here. This little finicky little part. All this little, like, land ledges in the water, shallow areas. Um, can we go down here? Yeah. Go back on the water. Very, very, uh, eh, in my opinion. Um, let's see. Can we go get that other item now? Uh, yeah, we'll use another repel. And hopefully we can swim around here without having to get off our barrel. And, uh, get that. I How do we get over there? What? Am I, like, going crazy? Do we have to go back to that location? Or is there more over here? Nope. I think we have to go back and it has probably something to do with that landmass we have to like walk on, right? So let's see. Let's go over here. Can't go that way. Can we go down here? Wait, is this? Oh, we can fit through there. I didn't notice that. So let's go ahead and face off against these guys. Um, <laughs> God, I like gave him like some shell, shell shocking there. It's all good. Swimmer Shel Shelton? Shelton has a Gyarados on his team. Okay. So yeah, I'll see you guys after the battle. Don't worry. Nothing you guys are going to miss, I swear. And just like that, we're back. He had three Gyaradoses, man. Can't believe it. We've managed to do it uh, pretty well with Empoleon. But I am probably going to take him out. Oh, we got a Max Revive. That's kind of worth it, right? Let's see if this little girl's a trainer after I take Empoleon off the team. Because, like I said, I do want to try to give everyone XP that isn't <clears throat> higher level, guys. So Let's see what this little girl has to say. Oh, she gave us a party sticker for finding her on this island, I guess. Oh, goodbye. What are you... Cool, man. I'm really happy you're relaxed and all, but jeez. Um, so yeah, that was the item we needed. Uh, so I guess we'll just swim back to, uh... To shore! On our barrel here. If we can, without running into anything crazy along the way. Squeeze back through here. I had no idea we could go through that. That blows my mind. It's so simple, yet... Man, the proportions are so, like... Weird looking, man. I would not have expected that to be the way we're supposed to go. But anyways, let's continue on. Um, I believe it's actually a... I'm going to try to find it without using the dowsing machine. You guys can use it. Um, but I'm going to try to be like a tough guy here and find it. It's a heart skill somewhere on this beach, I swear. Um, Alright, I'm going to whip it out. I know, I'm going to be a tough guy, right? That lasts like 10 seconds. <laughs> um, let's see. Where is the dowsing machine? Uh, are we close? No? Oh! Let's see. Are we on it? It's below us, right? Is that what that means? Oh, a great ball. That's not what I was... Am I thinking about platinum again? 
There's no way, right? There's no way I'm thinking about the... Okay, so something else is up there. Uh, no, we're good right now. Let's see. Where'd it go? Is that it? Is that what I missed? I feel like it's lower than it said it was, no? Bottle of calcium. That's not what I thought it was either. Um, maybe I'm lying to you guys. It might be a platinum thing. <laughs> oh, oh, there's something else up there. Where is it at now? Am I on it? No. Over here? Over here? Oh, oh. Oh, it says it's below us? A super potion. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think there's a heart skill here. Okay. Um, forget I mentioned a heart skill, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I thought for sure there was a heart skill there, but again, pretty sure that was a platinum uh, thought in my head. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon here, though. After that tough battle we've uh, been facing. So, I'll heal it up. Nice, ready to go. And let's go ahead. Oh, I almost stopped the recording there by accident. Messing with a lot of stuff off the scene. And this is what I was talking about, the uh, Seven Stars restaurant. I might come back and do this off camera, just because uh, I do want to focus on the plot now. We've been doing a lot of side areas. Even this episode, the first, like, ten minutes has been, like, a little bit of side area. But we're going to come over here to the lake. And uh, I might throw Gabite out first, actually, instead of Lucario. Just to try to get a little more XP out of him. Because it is a bunch of grunts you can fight. Not a bunch, maybe, like, three of them you can fight here at the... Uh, the lake, so... Is that a trainer or no? That was not a trainer. Okay. You're a trainer though, right? Yeah, sweet. So yeah, hopefully she has some decent Pokemon that aren't Zubat, because y'all yeah, we have... We have Bite, I guess, in Dragon Breath, but they're not, like, Gibbite's best moves, you know? Glam Meow's up front, so yeah, maybe we'll be able to use Bulldoze to do a little bit of damage to this, uh, this owl, old gal. Let's see if it's actually a female, though, before we, uh, assume anything, right? Glam Meow with a female trainer is female, sweet. So, there we go. Bye-bye, Glam Meow. Oh, not a one-shot. Man, we're, we're, we're kind of doing better, though. Speed fell. Charm. That lowers our attack, right? Yikes. Kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Another one. And we finish it off. Sweet. And now a level up. Raw gunk, we'll stay in, and I'll try to use a bulldozer. Actually, no, he's fighting type, right? He's not good against me. Oh, he has anticipation, so I guess we are super effective to it still. Um, but our attack was cut in half. Not half, but you know. I guess it is half. It's harshly fell, right? It's two stages. So I'm pretty sure we would have one-shot that if we didn't take a charm, but, you know, it is what it is, right? And those EVs are really putting in work, because we are outspeeding things left and right. But given these aren't the fastest Pokemon in the game, right? So... Might have some better rivals later on. I'm gonna go ahead and nah, we'll use another bulldoze, why not? And take him on out. Bye bye, Krogunk! And uh, I believe that's it for the grunt this battle, so. I guess I could have just cut these out too. Uh, save a little bit of time. Level 32, nice. We're about 15 levels off uh, from being up with the team, but it's fine. We got quite a bit of a uh, training to be done here. And yeah, so I'm definitely gonna start cutting out the uh, the grunt battles, I feel just because they don't have anything really worthwhile to talk about. It's the regular grunt stuff, so yeah. I'll see you guys after this grunt battle. All right, so a Golbat and a uh, Krogunk there. Are you a trainer as well? You are. Um, I think it's the last one, though. So I hate to do a cut after a cut, so I might actually show this one on camera. Three Pokemon, though. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, Krogunk out first. That's good. Probably be able to one-shot that, no problem. And hopefully the other two aren't that... Uh, that big of a deal. Because, yeah, without Charm taking us down, I could definitely one-shot you. The last guy at level 36, Krogunk, can be one-shotted, so... Pretty surprised if we don't take this one out. Yeah, there we go. boy, Garchomp. I mean, goodbye. Yikes. Getting too ahead of myself. Getting a little too excited. 523. Dust Talks. Um... I'll stay in, I guess. Can't be that bad. We'll just use Bite on it a ton. Yeah, that's fine. And let's do it. Oh, we got a flinch, right? Flinch? Ah, there. 
Each side. That can't be that effective. We're ground dragon. He got a he got a decent amount of back from that. What? Okay. Maybe I should use a uh, dragon uh, breath. You get a flinch? Nope. I'm not each life. What are you doing? What are you doing, Glunt? You little. <laughs> I said Glunt. Galactic Grunt. <laughs> uh, another bite ought to do the job. Hopefully we get a flinch. No. He's like hitting us really hard too. Yikes. Hey, bud. You got a toy? Yeah. That's fine. Just want to make sure you want to eat plastic, bud. And another bite. Yeah, I don't know why. My, my, especially my uh, the younger cat here. She loves chewing on plastic and like getting into plastic, man. I have, I have no idea why. My other cat, though, he, he's really indifferent to it. He doesn't care, but like he'll mess with it. But this girl goes out of her way to get plastic. So I don't know what that's. Uh, I don't know if that's like a smaller cat thing or what. But you know. and we're gonna switch. I learned my lesson. Macario, go on out there and beat up this beautiful eye here. Hey, buddy. I don't want to play with you. Stop wagging your tail at me, please. I was just petting you. He's getting into the cat and the toy, so. Getting a little rambunctious now, trying to get a little hostile with me. But uh, we're gonna use Aura Sphere. This is not very effective. They're bug. I think she's. Is it flying bug or flying poison? Not too sure. And we do less than half. So maybe. Oh, what? A Mega Drain! Okay. Uh, it didn't do much damage, but it still sucks that she's getting, like, regen. I mean, he's getting regen. Um, do another Aura Sphere. Like, I didn't learn my lesson, right? And ah, just shy of it. Mega Drain again. So we're gonna have to use another Aura Sphere just so I don't chance, you know, missing the knockout with a uh, power up punch. Be a little embarrassing. Uh, we could use Quick Attack actually. Dang, I forget about that all the time. Bye bye, Beautifly. And that should be this trainer done for. So all that's left is the final boss. And we gotta heal up the bite too, so. Let's do that real quick here. And, uh, Moo Moo Milk. Yeah, I bought quite a good amount of supplies off camera, as you can see. Um, oh, did I lie to you guys? This is this another trainer? No, it's not a trainer, okay. I wanna make sure I got all the trainers, though. Just so I don't miss out on XP. Like I said, I probably will go back to that, um, the hotel cafe restaurant and battle all the people there. Um, I actually am gonna bring, um, what does he have? Bronzong and all that? So we're gonna bring Luxray. I don't think we need anyone else, though. I think we should be good with the team we have, so. Let's go ahead and face off against this, uh, I think it's Commander? Yeah. The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone and for the good of Team Galactic. I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna City. Mm. Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child like that. But anything and everyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. And let's see what happens. Hopefully we uh, do decent. Might have messed up here by keeping Goodbye up front. I don't think he sends out Krogunk first, so could be very wrong on that. And he has Kadabra up front, so let's try to do a... I'll try to use Goodbye here. I don't think he can knock it out in one shot. Uh, Goodbye is not like weak to it or anything. I don't think it has any good moves against Goodbye. We outspeed it. We have good attack. So hopefully it does good damage, right? And uh, it's almost a knockout, but not quite. Speed fell. It doesn't really matter. We're the fastest Pokemon in the West, baby. Reflect. That's special attack, right? Oh, physical. No, that's not going to help us at all. Um, might just use Sand Attack. Uh, oh no, he's going to throw a Bronze Horn and be like Levitate, right? Yeah. He got me. He bait switched me. Yeah. Should have known. Um, we're going to switch to our Lux right now, though. That's why I brought it, because I knew we weren't going to be too great against it. Um, it says Bite is super effective, and, you know, our electric moves aren't, which I'm confused by. So let's try it out and see what happens. Payback. Okay. Shouldn't be doing much to us. And yeah, everything's just eh to it, so I think we're just gonna use Spark and see what happens. Hopefully it does decent amount of damage, huh? Oh, I did nothing! Yikes! Is it not part steel type yet? Am I am I confused on that? After getting hit with confused ready? But um, I don't know, we'll try to use bite and see what happens. 
If not, uh, I guess just go back to bite, maybe? Oh, what? He hit himself, Luxray! What are you- Oh, but she hit herself? What are you doing, Luxray? Luxray, you're like my pride and joy of my team, man! I mean, girl... I mean, now that we have a uh, bite- Oh, he had Reflect Up, too. I definitely did anything to it, but, you know. We'll try to use Bite this time and do some super effective damage, and there we go! Off without a hitch, baby! And whenever he switches into, I think we'll just go back to Goodbye and mess with it. Because Goodbye has not taken any damage yet, which is really, really clutch. Uh, go ahead, Goodbye. Hopefully we can outspeed it and take it out before it does another... I mean, we're going to outspeed it. We're going to take it out before it does another Reflect. And I don't think he has... I don't think he has Toxicroak yet. I mean, he might. But I know this game really did make it a lot easier for trainers. Like, I don't think Cyrus even has, like, fully evolved Pokemon yet. Uh, we'll use Bite, actually. Why not? Yeah, because usually when you fight Cyrus, he has, you know, evolved Pokemon, but in this, he does not. But not until, I think, the final battle you do with him, and that's it, so kind of sucks, really. There is Toxicroak, though, so I'm surprised Toxicroak was not not evolved. I mean, non... just the Krogunk, I guess. Very surprised by that. We use Bulldoze, try to get its health down. I do think it's fighting now, so it might not uh, be... T it might hit us pretty hard, actually. I didn't think about that. Um, so hopefully it doesn't. What's it got for us? Revenge. Oh no! Ooh! Yeah, we're gonna chance it and try to knock it out. Good thing he needs a fake out or something. Can we knock him out? That was close. Uh, very clutch. Good bite there. Uh, I appreciate you, man. Good thing you had trained you up, right? That extra four in defense really helped out, I feel. Unless you want to slash. Yeah, you can learn slash, but uh, we'll get rid of sand attack. And that should be it for the commander battle. And we should be able to head on out of here. And um, I guess I'll head to the next destination where I'm going to see you guys at. But I'm actually going to go back and, uh, you know, go to the hotel and battle everyone. Just for that extra EXP for Garb. I mean, Gabite. Hey, don't go in there, bud. You're not supposed to be in there, buddy. <laughs> should I get into the game, uh, the game, uh, what is it, like, holder? Container? Stop. <laughs> Stop, dude. <laughs> but yeah, that's Commander out the way. I think that's Saturn, right? I could be wrong. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and head out of here. It says go to Lake Verity. So that's going to be back home here in Twinleaf Town. So we're going to fly back here and I guess leave off um, at our house where we'll continue to the lake next time. So as always, guys, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Uh, share around with your friends if you think they'd also enjoy this type of content. And as always, I've been the Pokemon Cowboy here with you today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.